Um, in this conversation tonight with David Allen Greer, who I have um, fantasized about <laughs> on more than one occasion. And rightfully so. <laughs> Why are you scooting away? What's going on? You're like, I fantasized. I know how to keep my distance. <laughs> and so we Whoops. thought that, that, that because, because um, we have, um, I'm speaking to another artist uh, who I have admired in, in film and TV, you know, as a producer, as a director. And I thought that it would be a really wonderful thing then to really simply have a conversation with you and that I could ask you all the kinds of questions that I've always wanted to ask because of me. And and that you would be obliged to answer because of Perhaps. Perhaps. You had like all these you know, like I think I, I've always wanted to be everybody I've ever seen. Like I've mm -hmm. always wanted to like be the the men and the women and the you know and everything in between. But you have like these like sort of one, wonderful things. Like earlier on, you like wanted to be like H. Rhett Brown. Then you wanted to be like Malcolm. Then you wanted yes. to be like you know Lynx and like Mod Squad. And then you know like Jimi Hendrix. Well, we were well, the reason you why know, I was man, telling man. these things. I remember my mother. I, I we were uh, outside the store in Berkeley, and there were these pair of silver platform boots <laughs> with rainbows in them. And I was like, you don't I understand, Mom. I want those I boots. And she's like, but why? <laughs> why do you want those boots? You know, and as a child, as a child of color, we, my brother and I, we loved any black dude that was screaming. I mean, it was just like, I want to be that guy who is the provocateur, you know, the dibbic. And a lot of that still exists in, in the work that I do. Like when we were doing Chocolate News, it was at a point where uh, in the black community, you know, these sh voices we were hearing was, this is a very important time. Let's be on our best behavior. This is, do not rock the boat. And of course I had to, you know, I had to. And you know, talking about things that, that we would talk about amongst ourselves, you know, again, that notion of blackness, you know, what is black, what is too black, is this black enough, who's black, who's not black, is black even an issue, you know, those kinds exactly. of things. And the public and national dialogue about race is something I'm fascinated with, I enjoy, and I think it's healthy. I mean, for us as a country, it's a part of our history. But you know, I was wondering about this, this idea, you know, that is as much as we are sort of engaged with this this ongoing question, um, a question that also seems to be in, in, in very interesting ways, sort of also riding the back of Obama. Mm -hmm. You know, are we um, are we actually uh, moving forward when we have these discussions about race? I mean, do you think of that course. we're like really moving the yes. di the dialogue forward? Yes. You know, for instance, how does race, the David Mammoth play, mm -hmm. and this sort of work, really move the dialogue forward? Well, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. First of all, name another white playwright who was interested enough to even write a play that dealt with this at all. None. When we first premiered, you know, I would sit down with journalists and they're saying, well, you know, they're... The play, there, most of these plays that dealt with race were in a very quaint 50s way because that's when they were written. 40s, 50s are being revived. No, I think that not to speak for Mr. Mamet, but I know in our discussions um, is him wanting to do the play at this moment was to answer the question. The first question you asked when we sat down, are we post-black? Are we post-racial? And like therapy, it's hard, it's difficult, but any conversation is good because it moves things along. It may not feel good, but yes. I think that's such it a difficult be. conversation. So I met like a luncheon yesterday, and for the most part, there are all black people at this luncheon. Mm -hmm. I don't think there are any white people there. And for the most part, the, the events Thank that God. I go to in New Right, exactly. They were not there. You know, and, and, and for the most part, the events that I'm here in the, in the city are also, as much as I love this city, as Tony Morrison right. says, the city makes me dream tall and fill in on things. Mm -hmm. But it's also very divided and very segregated city mm -hmm. in some very profound, profound ways. And uh, so at this, this, this luncheon, all the people that were there <clears throat> were talking about um, Obama, his inability to talk about uh, blackness at all, and they were really, really, really upset with him. This is like, you know, a group of, you know, sort of, you know, professional and educated mm -hmm. black people who were really, you know, doing their stuff and, of course, mm -hmm. supporting him, and yet also very aware of what he 
is not saying, and for that matter, what he can't say and, and still be perceived as being mm -hmm. um, you know, a president for, for America. But, but on that note, I'm sure you've encountered in your life as an artist other people of color, other black women, other black men who say, you're not black enough. Maybe you're not speaking enough I'm sorry, to black this is not people. My experience. <laughs> and, but, but there's always that, there's always that conversation. You know, how hard. much of your art should, you know, it should be specifically and directed or representing me, my experience, yes. that kind it's, of it's thing. Very, it's very interesting. It's very interesting. I mean, you know, of course, I mean, I'm aware of myself as a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a black woman, and so much of my work comes out of that place. That's the place that I know and the place that I understand most uh, deeply. But I think that probably the deepest thing that I understand is what it means to simply be alive and right, human. the human condition. And, 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 and how do you, you know, I think, I think my project in some way is how do I use the, this body Mm -hmm. to implicate more than itself? Mm -hmm. Can it ever stand for more than itself? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what I'm interested in. Right. And um, the public and, the, and our imaginations and the way that we have um, developed ourselves doesn't allow for this black body to be perceived as anything more than a black experience, which I think is unfortunate. But nevertheless, I keep pushing against the, the mm -hmm. grain of that idea that in every instance I'm thinking about these other kinds of qualities that need to be um, implicated in, 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 in life and the humanness mm -hmm. of, this, of this subjectivity. I'm wondering, um, out of all you know, mm -hmm. you know, and all the work that you've done, what is it that you're really most interested in doing now? I mean, oh, what do I you can see? Tell you How do now. you see yourself moving? Where do you want to move to? To new ground. I think the one area that, that I'm trying to explore now is more dramatic roles, mm -hmm. because that's a part that's been missing for a long time. Yeah. Um, you know, and it's a part of me. You know, just like the comedy is a part of me. It's not all of me. Right. You know, right. but uh, for as an artist, people pick and choose uh, parts of your career and they hold on to them and they go, oh, I know you carry from this, you know, this series, you know, even though you've done other kinds of work and they cling on to that. So exactly. that's the same here, that I, there's a lot more to me and it's a, it's a process of defining myself to the world, you know, artistically and creatively. So that continues. There's things I've done that I love that maybe other people don't, but... Yeah, that, that, that journey as an artist continues. And as long as I get up and I'm interested in what I do, at least for 10 minutes of the day, I won't say the whole day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. That's a success. Well, you have a beautiful daughter. I do. She's I gorgeous. do. I do. I You're do. a tremendous man. <laughs> Thank I'm so you. happy that I had this chance to Absolutely. Be with you and Absolutely. To talk with you. It was a pleasure. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Art 21. <laughs> yes, this is really nice.